Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and this is Dr. Filippo again. Uh, once again, we're here uh, in my offices. Um, you know, I try to make them as uh, comfortable as possible. And we're here, we have a situation here with uh, a, a, a mother who was very um, traumatized, and she's going to tell us exactly what is going on now. Well, my son, he's, um, he's been going through a lot lately. And he's a, he's a great boy. I mean, I've raised him his whole life. But he's, he can't come to terms. The fact that he's getting older and he has to find his own apartment or get on with his life. And so now... He's just taking it as he can come and go whenever he wants. And he'll be gone halfway through the night. And I'll be very sick about him not knowing where he's at or if he's okay. A mother shouldn't have to live like this. Well, uh, ma'am, uh, what is your name? Tracy. Can you speak up, please? Tracy. Thank you. Uh, Tracy, uh, what is your son's name? Tony. Tony. Tony and Tracy. Tracy and Tony. I see a, a pattern already developing. A pattern here. Uh, okay, Tracy. Uh, what else do you want to say about your son before we bring him in? And I want you to know that this is going to be quite a family confrontation. Now, now, okay. it's going to be a family confrontation. Yes. Well, he's, he has anger issues, and he takes it out on me. And he, he can be so mean sometimes. Make me feel about this small. If you were that small, this here cat. would have eaten you by now, Tracy. So, we're going to have to get to the bottom of why you feel that you're so small. That could be part of the problem here. Well, my husband, his Tony's father, died three years ago. And he doesn't have the father figure anymore now that he really needs him growing up into a man. And I can't be that man. I mean, look at me. I'm a, I'm a woman. I don't have those things. What are you talking... You don't have what things? Can you be specific? Because we are here in a place of science. We need specifics here. Because otherwise I can't help you. What things are you talking about? <laughs> Step it, you. Okay. Well, here I have the V. Very different from the D. And you know. <laughs> okay, here we have... Excuse me, folks, but here we have a sicko in the family. I don't believe the problem is the son. I believe the problem is the mother. But we're going to get to the bottom of this right now. Right now. <laughs> Um, Excuse me, Tracy. What were you doing? I don't know. Let's cut. Let's get back to my son now. Okay. Well, are we gonna bring him in? That'd be the best. Yes. All right. Let's go ahead and bring your son in right now. Okay. 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we have the son. The son is, this is Tracy's son, and his name, I believe, is Tony. Ladies and gentlemen, can we all have a clap for Tony? <laughs> Tony! Hello, Tony. Hi. Can you speak up, Tony? Hi. Yes, Hello. Tony. Uh, what can we do? What is your problem with your mother? What is the problem with your mother? She's, um, she's a little overbearing, and she, she doesn't let me live my life anymore. Like, ever since my dad passed, she's always, get here now, get here now. Where are you? What are you doing? And I, she's driving me crazy. I mean, I'm sure just from your five-minute session with her, you kind of realize she's not all there. Well, this is true, and not only that, but when we stopped the session for a moment and the cameras came back to her, she, her face was completely covered and she was playing with her nipples. Now, why? Do you know why your mother plays with her nipples in public? No! I, but she denied it. I guess she's on national television and she got a little hyper trying to get some money. She's, while I'm out, when I'm out of the house, like she'll be sneaking men in, you know, for money. And that's why I'm out of the house because I know what her intentions. She's, I just don't want to be there while she's doing them. You know, like who wants to see that? And now it's, broadcasts all over you know wherever that's going well this is an internationally viewed show we are an internationally viewed show we are seen in China Japan Russia uh, Yugoslavia and the United States of America and England so um, I think we need to speak to your mother I don't think that's best you should just let her be her with her nipples the whole rest of the show and just handle the rest of it with talking to me because that's the only way we're going to get anywhere well if we're going to be talking to you you better start doing some talking boy because right now right now I don't have any material to take care of this here situation I told you she's prostituting herself acting like I'm the problem. Like, she always puts her problems on me, like, makes it, like, it's my fault. And it's not. When my dad passed, you know, she thinks I'm bottling it up, that I'm so angry, and I'm not. I'm angry at her. Why? Are you angry at her? Just an angry person. But why are you angry? Say it. <laughs> I'm just angry, okay? See? Take that. There. Okay, take out your anger on. Okay, I feel better now. Uh, you so, feel better now. Yeah, thank you. Good. All right, so I'm okay. glad he didn't take out that anger on this poor here cat. But let me show you the pussy here. All right. So again, it's a daily routine, same cycle, over and over. Like I heard, I heard you mention from the stage, it, it was a pattern. Yes. What kind of pattern? A very strange pattern. The kind of pattern that does not lead to good things. Um, well, 
I think we have a failure to communicate. You have a failure to communicate. Yes. And how are we going to take care of this here situation? We're going to have to communicate, but I can't work with her. I can't. Well, if your mother doesn't come in here, how am I going to talk to her? I have an idea, Tony. I am going to be your... I am going to be your mother right now. I am going to be talking to you right now. And I want you to talk to me. Are you going to play with your nipples right now? I may have to do that. One moment, please. One moment, please. Give me that wench. Give me that thing off of your hair. Dr. Filippo? Yes, ma'am. Dr. Filippo, I'm here because I, I, I need to resolve this issue with my son. And uh, what do you want to say to your son? I want to say, son, stop that. Stop it. Let me, let me play with my men. I love my men. I need my men. It's all about me ever since my husband left. You need to keep him out of this, you damn whore. Prostitute. No! And they're so cheap. Even the bums can afford you. Whore. Whore! <laughs>